imagine that you're going through some painful situation and someone said to you don't worry be positive everything will work out in your life how would you feel at that moment for the past few decades there's been a lot of focus on positivity their self help books mentors coaches such as me have all been advocating how positive attitude can be a key to happiness in fact Researchers of neuroscience and positive psychology have discovered that happiness is a precursor to success and not the result of it. But how much is too much? Can we have a positivity overload? And if yes, then what is the realistic approach? Let's find out. Hi there. I'm a partner your personal coach helping you upskill yourself to lead the life you desire. A couple of months ago I was competing really hard for a important project which took a lot of time and effort from me. I did not get the project and I was deeply disappointed. I had two options in front of me. One was to feel miserable about it because I wasted a lot of time and effort in it and the second one is to treat this as an experience in life and move on. Which one do you think I chose? If you say that I chose to be happy and moved on, then you're completely wrong. I was so disappointed that it took me almost a week to come out of it. It's difficult to maintain positivity when you're having negativity everywhere, and I understand that. So the realistic approach is to adapt a happy attitude, not overly positive, not overly negative, but a realistic happy attitude. Happy attitude is choosing to be happy. when you're going through emotions such as loss grief sadness and even anger choosing a happy attitude does not preclude all other emotions but it includes them as a coach i speak to several people who struggle to see the way forward when they're going through painful events so i want to share with you this four step exercise that combines positivity with reality and can be used in everyday situations this exercise has been developed by Professor Gabrielle Ottingen she's a professor of psychology in New York University and she calls this four step method as WOOP W O O P wish outcome obstacle and plan that's right it's WOOP so easy to remember let me demonstrate this with the example i gave earlier the first step is to define the wish formulate your wish in a clear specific manner for example i wrote I want to feel confident about myself so I can get back achieving my dreams. Remember at this stage I was deeply disappointed so that was my wish. The second step is to identify and visualize the desired outcome. Let the images of your desired outcome float freely in your mind. In my case my desired outcome was that I'm no longer disappointed but excited about the next opportunity. I go around work, doing my work peacefully and calmly with zero anxiety and a lot of excitement and I will nail the deal in the next opportunity that was my desired outcome the third step is for you to consider all the potential obstacles in your path in my case it could be the fear of rejection so the rejection i faced previously can act as an obstacle in my next opportunity as you ponder you realize that the obstacle ultimately is your fear a fear of rejection and fear can multiply multi in multiple areas ultimately targeting your self confidence the fourth step is for you to formulate a plan so that you can work towards achieving your wish now based on the insight that i've gained in the previous step the plan for me could be something like this if i start feeling the sense of fear during my presentation then i will remind myself that i am smart My dreams are strong and I know more about this subject than anyone else here. Not arrogantly though, this is more or less reaffirming my strengths. There you go. Those are the four steps that you need to take to develop a happy attitude. Wish, outcome, obstacle and plan. This exercise is very simple and you can do it at the at your convenience wherever and whenever. To know more information about this particular exercise, you can check out the link to Professor Gabriel Oinston's research paper that has been provided in the description below if you need help in understanding this exercise or applying it to your life do reach out to me my details are given in the description below you may leave your comments in the comment section below or reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that i am in and finally if you like this video please give it a thumbs up 
share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe to my channel subscribe and also hit the bell button so you'll never so you'll never miss an update from me thank you so much for watching i'll see you next week bye